here today at the Syracuse Lava Project to do a lava flow morphology lab. Uh, it's an analog project where uh, the class is broken up into groups and as, a, as teams they have to decide a uh, physical property of uh, lava flow morphology that they can study um, using a pour of uh, Keweenaw Peninsula flow basalt here in Syracuse. Um, and then they've been coming up here all day and they get somewhere between 50 and 100 pounds of uh, real lava to uh, take data, measure cooling rates, temperatures, um, thicknesses, whatever they want to do really. Um, and it's a great exercise not just in uh, data collection but also experimental design, research, um, as well as working with lava. I am the, I'm a, one of the two TAs involved, but I also helped uh, plan and design this lab. Um, I did my senior research here um, looking at the physical properties of basaltic spatter and um, I know the facility very well, I know the people who work here. Um, so I worked with the students to uh, design their experiments, design their project plans, refine what they're going to do and then here today I oversee uh, the execution of the project. So everything from the setup to the data collection, making sure that everyone's doing everything safely, um, all of that. We have a uh, refractory furnace that used to be involved in metal uh, metallurgy and they can melt 750 pounds of uh, material. Um, it's usually a combination of raw chipped uh, rock and um, previously melted uh, rock. And, it's a natural gas-fired furnace that takes about 30 hours to heat. 37.5 No big surprises. Everything is performed like we expected it to. So far, everyone's really enjoyed it. Um, everyone walks away thinking that it's one of the coolest labs they've ever done because, I mean, you get to work with real lava. Where's the other shovel? I'll help out. And it's really juicy. 945. You want a piece? You guys want a piece? Yeah. 